Welcome back to my channel, guys, at Trey Fragrances, and I'm back with another video. So if y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on y'all post notifications because I will be posting more content for y'all. So in this video, I do have a new blind buy uh, fragrance, and it's called Valentino Umo Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. So if y'all can see, you know, the bag, the barcode. You know, it does have the ingredients, so we're gonna go ahead and get straight into the unboxing of this. Oh, okay, okay, it looks a little bit different, and the words is more pinker than the other one because I do have um the intense version. But this is the Coral Fantasy. So it does have a little different color to it. So before we get into the scent of this, I'm going to read out the notes and see what we can get from this. So in the top note we have in this are red apple, cardamom, and calabrian bergamot. The middle note is lavender, bourbon, geranium, and clary sage. The base note is tobacco leaf and Haitian vetiver. All right, so we're gonna get straight into this. Let's spray this on a test strip. One spray. All right. Hmm. And atomize a ten out of ten. So, okay. It's really not that bad, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I like it. The opening is definitely amazing. You know, right off the bat, you can smell that apple in there, that red apple. Um, I do get a little bit of clary sage picking up. I think this is a wintertime fragrance, you know, winter fall fragrance. I do not recommend, you know, this in the summertime. You know, I think this is a great, you know, date night fragrance or you're going out with your friends or whatever. You know, this right here is definitely amazing. And I have tried it on, and the longevity is good longevity. I'm not going to lie. It is good longevity. And this right here is definitely an amazing fragrance, definitely a compliment getter. And about 30 minutes now, you can smell that tobacco leaf picking up. It's not heavy, but it's smooth with that smooth tobacco leaf. And blend it in with that patchouli and that Haitian beverage. So, you know, it does get a little bit, you know, a tab woodiness in there. And it's sweet overall, sweet, aromatic, you know, woody, you know, definitely addictive scent. And you just can't go wrong with Valentino Umo Born and Roma Coral Fantasy. Now, this right here is definitely worth the blind buy. I think. Y'all would not be disappointed with this fragrance if y'all want to blind by this. You know, if you're going on like Amazon or something, you're only paying like, you know, 80 something dollars. So, I mean, it's really not that bad compared to other fragrances. You know, that definitely knows expensive ranges. So, like I say, guys, this fragrance right here is definitely a 10 out of 10. This is as for right now, my favorite Valentino, that Coral Fantasy. So, yeah, guys, that's the end of that review. And y'all let me know which Coral Fantasy, I mean, which Valentino fragrance that y'all like best in the line. You know, I will be picking up some more in the line, you know, down the road. So, you know, that's the end of that review. Make sure y'all go pick this up. Valentino Umo Born in Roma Cora Fantasy. Now, I'm really not getting too much of lavender in there. I can't smell a little bit picking up. Y'all, I had to smell this one more time. This right here is definitely 10 out of 10. Just a slight smooth tobacco just in there. Well, blended in there perfectly. But yeah, guys, that's the end of that review. And I hope y'all out there feeling good, looking good, smelling good, dressing good. And it's your boy Trey Fragrance. And I'm out.